Hey guys, welcome back. Today, this lesson is going to deal with section 1.2 of our pre-calc class, talking about symmetry and how to evaluate an equation analytically to see if it's symmetric. We have three types of symmetry. Uh, we could be symmetric to the x-axis, symmetric to the y-axis, or symmetric to the origin. And I've got three pictures right here that kind of show you uh, that we you know, have a line of symmetry that goes right through. Uh, I have parabola right here, a sideways parabola, but the biggest thing what we want to check here analytically, which means again we're going to use some sort of algebra to do this. Um, what we want to do here is notice here with the x-axis symmetry. If I've got a point in the first quadrant in general right here uh, that we know it's pretty much uh, looks like you know 2, 2 there, but if we just speak in general, we got an x and a y. Then we know that we can go and reflect that down here. And we know that points that are in the fourth quadrant are positive x and negative y. So, you know, if we have 2, 2 as a point in the first quadrant, that means that 2, negative 2 is symmetric down there. So the biggest thing that we, we talk about here for the x-axis is that xy yields the same result as x negative y. And then right here with the the y-axis symmetry, we can see here if we if we pick a point over here and we see that we have x, y in the first quadrant. And if we reflect that over here with our line of symmetry, we know that we're going to have a negative x, positive y, because we're in the second quadrant there. So what we talk about for the y-axis is that x, y, the point x, y, yields the same result as x, or excuse me, negative x and a positive y. And then we have the third type, and that's the origin, and that's a rotational symmetry, where you can see that it rotates, and we start off here in the first quadrant, again, we have an x and a y coordinate, and we rotate that here, and we have a point down here in the third quadrant, and we know that in the third quadrant, we have both negative x and negative y. So we talk about symmetry, or being symmetric in the origin, we know that x, y, out of the first quadrant, will yield the same result as negative x, and negative y. So these are the three rules we got to know when we're going through and, and doing an analytical approach here. So I got a couple examples here. So if we look at, scroll down here, here's example one. We're going to check all symmetry for this one. We got xy squared equals 4x minus 5. So if we want to check the x-axis symmetry, we are going to plug in negative y. And again, if I, if I scroll back up here, x-axis symmetry, we had xy yields the same result of x negative y. So we're going to plug in that negative y and see if we get the same thing. If we get the same thing, we know it's symmetric. If we don't, we know it's not. So here's what we do. We plug in negative y wherever we see a y and see if we get the same thing. So I've got x negative y squared equals 4x minus 5. And we do some basic simplifying. So I know right here that if I square something that's negative, that turns right back into xy squared equals 4x minus 5. That is the exact same thing as the original, so therefore we are symmetric to the x-axis. Go ahead and try the other one. If I check the y-axis, I know that I have to plug in negative x. And we'll see what happens when we plug in negative x. I get negative x times y squared equals 4 times negative x minus 5. And if I simplify that, I get negative xy squared negative 4x and minus 5. That is not the same thing as the original. So I know it's not symmetric. So it actually only worked out here for the x-axis. It would wind up being the same with the origin. That I'll show you here in a little bit as well. So let's t uh, check uh, example number two here. Check for all symmetry. So again, we're going to 
check the x-axis that means plug in negative y so I'm gonna have a negative y equals x squared minus 3 there's nothing else to simplify here and that's not the same as the originals so that's no good let's check uh, the y-axis symmetry that means you plug in negative x so I got y equals negative x squared minus 3 and I can simplify that right there and I have y equals x squared minus 3 that is the exact same as the original so therefore I'm symmetric to the y-axis couple more here scroll over here we got example three check for all symmetry here here we got a looks like a complex uh, equation here but again I'm gonna check x-axis that means plug in negative y so I got x times negative y plus square root of 2 minus negative y squared equals 3 well right here negative times a positive that's going to be a negative xy square root 2 minus and then this negative squared is going to be a y squared equals 3 now that's almost the same as the original but it's not it's got to be identical so that's not good so now we'll check the y-axis which means plug in negative x alright so I got negative x times y plus the square root 2 minus y squared equals 3 and again I'm going to wind up with a negative xy plus the square root of 2 minus y squared equals 3 again not the same so the last thing we check is the origin and that means we have to plug in a negative x and a negative y so let's see I got a negative x times a negative y plus the square root 2 that's a bad 2 sorry 2 minus a negative y squared equals 3 I can see here that I got two negatives and when I multiply that that's a positive so I get xy plus square root 2 minus and then I have a negative squared so that's going to be y squared there equals 3 so this actually winds up being the same as the origin we are good last example it is possible that a function is not symmetric at all so let's just take a look here y equals x squared plus 2x minus 5 check the x-axis and again that means plug in negative y so I got negative y x squared plus 2x minus 5 well, that's not the same. Check the y-axis. That means plug in negative x. So I got y equals negative x squared plus 2 times negative x minus 5. So that's going to be y equals negative squared. Hey, that's, that's good, x squared. Here we got 2 times negative x. That's minus 2x and then minus 5 that's almost but this is not good right here so that's not good either so let's check the origin and again that's plugging in negative x and negative y so we're gonna have negative y equals negative x squared plus 2 times negative x minus 5 that's negative y which is going to give you x squared there minus 2x and minus 5 and that is not the same as the original so that shows us right here that it's not symmetric to anything and that's okay so hopefully that helps out explain here how you do an analytical approach uh, for checking symmetry